All right, welcome to the session. Now let's get started. So we have, if you remember, we have created a session. Uh, I mean, a <laughs> sorry, a mapping. Uh, we have created a, uh, a source. That's the department and stuff. Now remember, department that we have created. That's called as a physical data object. Now you will see that that department uh, or countries, whatever we have created. So that can be used as a source as well as target. So if I can drag and drop this thing, see here, this is the beauty of this tool. So you can make it as read, read means this will act as your source. And if I make it right, this will act as your target. Clear? Now that's completely different from Power Center. In Power Center, if you want to make something as source, you have to import, you have to define that in the source. Okay, uh, source analyzer and um, in the target, you have to design the target one, right? But here it's different, right? And um, the lookup one, so that's the beauty, right? Because in Power Center, you have to create a separate lookup and do it. Uh, that's one hell of an issue. But here it's quite simplified. So let's just import it as a read. It means the source. So here I go, my source is ready. And let me just import uh, this stuff as my uh, right as well and uh, okay and I'm gonna uh, create a mapping so if I want to create a mapping I can create just a basic mapping or I will add certain transformation let's just add a uh, expression transformation maybe we can add it or uh, to just see a basic demonstration of a mapping in IDQ let's just add an expression transformation and uh, it's pretty much the same story here you just drag and drop and then drag and drop okay and save it right and uh, that's it the this is done then you can run it so run a mapping uh, see before running one thing you can always do that is really great is you can actually view the data here So go here and say run data viewer Now this is cool. This is cool. But what is really cooler is you can actually go here and say run data viewer Okay, and what is even cooler than that <laughs> even cooler than that that is you can go here and actually profile this transformation how the hell do you profile a transformation doesn't make any I mean it, it seems like impossible but here it make this tool makes it so easy so just a profile now we haven't done anything useful here but let's say if you have done then this would come really handy okay and you can see the results and stuff like that here let's go back to this so we just ran it and since we are dropping that to the same target uh, let's just configure the target so you can configure the properties of the source target and expression all of that stuff here so if you want to configure the uh, source properties so how do you configure the source properties here you go to just click on that choose that thing then go to properties here below okay then you can see a lot of stuff port query runtime sources advanced let's see one of the see them one by one uh, general not interesting ports yeah all right this is important so if you want to rename the port and um, bunch of like you know what you can do so it's it's basically renaming your ports creating additional ports if i want to create an additional ports i can do that okay i can do that here and the queries if i want to do an override then or select distinct or an override so if i want to give a join condition something like that or a filter short condition then i can do that here okay i can just add it here so this is how you add it uh, simple right or uh, a join condition with something some other uh, table if you want to do it that also you can do it right here and then uh, runtime the connections you know and the sources that are present uh, columns keys all that stuff and the advanced so pre SQL post SQL all that stuff uh, this is the same thing that's there in power center so pre SQL what exactly is pre SQL so before running the mapping whatever you put it here that will be executed first then the mapping will run post means once it uh, starts reading the data from the source and it is done once it is data is read then the post SQL will run pretty simple huh? 
so that's the thing and you can see the properties of this thing also here okay nothing uh, great as such the only thing you can see important one is the tracing level okay that you can change it here uh, dependencies ports and the target here uh, port runtime so yeah so what's important is the runtime so in runtime the connection properties all those stuff you can change it and then the directory overflow so these are all stuff you can change it the bad okay parameterizing all that thing that you can do it here and then the load type if you want to do a normal load or um, or you can see here the target type this features as you can see is um, it's a bit uh, of I mean it's kind of same as what we see in power center you might be thinking how why am i referring to power center so much uh, reason is because this tool it has evolved from power center so yeah maybe <laughs> that's the reason and you will see 70 50 60 percentage of power center features are directly present as it is in this tool right and you can create other transformations as well so and just can you see one more thing data quality here so this means data address validator is a data quality transformation whereas if you see if you do not see data quality stuff like that let's say if i talk about uh, general right general means that's nothing but that's a copy paste of power center <laughs> yeah that's it it's just a copy paste of power center whereas the data quality means yeah that's unique that's unique to informatica data quality all right and yeah so the mapping is done now in the next session we will run it i will show you in details um, what is the output and all that stuff how to analyze the output once we run it thanks guys thank you very much for this session that's it for this session